Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimpin' Camper. I have finally found the ultimate, cheapest, easiest DIY custom exhaust for the 3500. And you're not gonna believe this. I mean, we've been through, this is our third variation of this thing. We started out with one inch flex tube. It was too rigid, it wouldn't stay on very well, even after I slit the end of it. You can watch that video here on how I did that. But the hose clamp wouldn't keep a hold of it. At that time, I also couldn't find a good heavy duty like exhaust clamp that was one inch. I finally found one of those and we'll go over that in a minute. Now for the second iteration of what we did is we used rigid pipe. One of the videos I seen, you actually had a piece of rigid come off and then they had an adapter where you could put a flex hose on there. Um, I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to get the bend that I needed. And so I did just go with rigid the whole way but i had to make the adapter it was a pain and there's only two screws that hold that in and that's where the spark arrestor was up here on the sides and even after a couple of uh, different updates on that adding some heat resistant loctite adding some star washers they just kept vibrating loose after a little while because this is just too heavy even though the end was resting on something um, you have this vibrating a lot and it just wouldn't hold up to what i needed one thing that I will say is before I went out to the national parks this last year, I was afraid they'd get onto me for not having a spark arrestor. And so I did take some aluminum screen and put on here with a hose clamp. And I did keep that for, for this one here. So I do have a little bit of a spark arrestor on there. But we won't be needing this anymore. I didn't really find this secret. Somebody commented on one of my videos and I can't even find the comment right now. But whoever you are, bless you, sir because you have changed my whole setup here. And that comment specifically said, a diesel heater pipe will just fit right on there and clamp down. Well, I did reach out to a couple of people as far as sponsoring this video. I had one offer say they were going to, but then I kind of lost communication with them. And so I did just order this on Amazon with my own money. I did have to cut it off. You know, these diesel heater tubes, they're lightweight. They're fairly flexible. Um, they're a lot more flexible than the flexible pipe that I had to start with. And they are just over the size of the exhaust that comes out of the Predator 3500. They do come with two hose clamps. The hose clamp may or may not be enough to hold it on there because this is thinner metal than that flexible tubing I used before. You can bend it with your fingers. But to be on the safe side, I did use a one inch exhaust clamp that I found. And I'll have a link in Amazon in the description for the tubing that I used, as well as to the exhaust clamp. It seemed to work pretty good. I had a little hard time getting it to go over the, the lip where the um, exhaust comes out. It's kind of had to fit it on there just right. But now I got it tightened down. I didn't want to tighten it down enough where it would distort the uh, exhaust that's welded onto the 3500 but i think that it's tight enough where it won't come off this isn't that heavy and if something happens to it i got enough here for like at least one more so you know in the long run it's thin metal it might not last the longest but you know 20 30 bucks i can't remember exactly what this thing was but you know i have at least two of them here in order to cut this i did use a hacksaw the first time I made it a little bit shorter and it seemed like it was easier with just some tin snips. Now with the tin snips, you do have to, you can't like just cut it in the middle. So you still have to have an opening there. But if you just need to clean it up a little bit, tin snips work great. And then I took a piece of aluminum screen, put over the end and put the hose clamp on there. And it seemed like it was gonna hold it on there with no problems whatsoever. So guys, that exhaust is about as simple as you can get. I think it's gonna last a lot better than the other two that I had. We'll just have to see and we'll have to update this in a little while. So, you know, for now, I'm gonna say that I have high hopes in it. I think it'll work well. Thanks for joining us. And I hope this tip helped you. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.